Uh, hello, you guys. I wanted to come in here and talk about something real quick. And talk about how we can actually, as people, because they tell you we're going to think about things in this country, right? Regardless of skin color, regardless of so called race, whatever, we're all people. First and foremost, right? We were all, we all came into this world as a person, right? And we all grew up differently. Different beliefs, different cultures, different identities, different um, orientations. We're different people, right? But at the end of the day, we're all people. We, we at least have that in common. And I think we as a black community can take advantage of that. Because in this fight, we can, you know what, we can actually do things to say, to try and get other people behind us. Instead of us being behind them, let's try to flip it and get us behind, get them behind us. How do we do this? Okay, you know what? Sometimes, guess what? People will do something for you, not because they like you, but because it's going to benefit them. And we have to learn to use that to our advantage. I will give you an example. Uh, in prison, okay, we are, we are over 50% of the prison population, right? And there are a lot of people locked up in there for non, non-violent non offenses, right? And I'm pretty sure some, not all of them are black people. We may be the majority, but not 100%, right? So say, for example... At all those offenses, for non-violent offenses, we are, say, 50%, 60%. The other 40% are divided among white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever, right? However, the, the numbers fall. If we come to them and say, look, what do you want to do is make, they're in there for non-violent offenses, right? We're saying is pedophiles get, get lesser time. We want to flip that. To say those who are in there for non-violent offenses, all people shouldn't be in there. They should be getting help, rehab, whatever it should be. And on top of that, what we should do is, what's the word? Um, expunge or erase their record. What we should do is take the money that's in this country has so far and start programs. Like for example... I was thinking about it the other day. Why don't we have a train system that could take us from Philly to Los Angeles? Or from Houston to Los Angeles? One train line, right? One. Why can't the country be connected by a railroad or tracks from one end to the other? From north to south, from east to west. You know how many jobs that could create? probably a good few million jobs a good few million because remember you can make the tracks here you need architects you need people construction people you need people probably use cement you could actually that would actually make room for even more other businesses to grow also because think about it there's a lot of land in this country unused a lot there's a lot of land unused so think about this if we build a nationwide train system Okay. Imagine how many more towns you could create that would allow for businesses to grow. Right? And think about this. Universal health care would also help out with this too, because think about it. If there's a train system that can go from town to town, guess what? You could build more hospitals in those towns. Right? You more hospitals. This country so far needs about a million more nurses. Those nurses need jobs. It's a worker shortage for that. You imagine if we build hospitals and build other schools and build all these things. How many people could we hire to build those things and make this stuff here in America? And when I say people, I mean people of all races. This is how as black people we can spin the story and make and play chess, not checkers. So far, we've been playing checkers. Everybody else is playing chess. Everyone else is seeing, you know what? I'm going to gain this little step today because guess what? It's going to pay off tomorrow. It's going to pay off. You understand what I'm saying? 
So for example, if we put behind these things, it'll create jobs for people. It'll create jobs. You imagine this. People always say that um, the people who have a job aren't the ones who usually go to jail because they're too busy working. They don't have time to get in trouble. And when they get off of work, they're too tired. So you imagine if you had a program like this, it'll be pretty hard. You should see a decrease in us going to jail for small offenses. And the recidivism rate will go down because guess what? A lot of these people who come out of jail have a hard time getting a job because they have a record. And so guess what? They either got to feed the air to do what they do, to feed themselves, eat food, maybe feed their children, and they end up getting caught up again in the system and here they are back in jail. Right? So guess what? If we do these things, that'll drop in some offenses. Jobs are created in some offenses. And the economy can probably be a whole lot better. Okay? That could be a whole lot better. You can think about this. America got ready for World War II in six weeks, I believe. Six, I think six weeks, something like that. Armed up, ready to go. If that could, if that could happen, why can't we change things around and build things and do construction things to create jobs for millions and millions of people? And I'm, as black people, I'm gonna tell you this too. Think about this, right? We know that the Thirteenth Amendment didn't end slavery, right? It only changed from private slavery to state-sanctioned slavery, right? Okay, here's the thing. If less of us go to jail, okay, I mean, guess what? There's no slaves in the jail. You understand know what I'm saying? So now corporations like Walmart can't use slave slave labor to make their stuff anymore. Hmm. That helps out a lot of things. And that could be accomplished without even changing the law. Just by simply putting our money together and building something in our community and building something in every community. You see how these things change? Because think about this. We may be the highest prison population, yes, but I'm pretty sure there's probably some white man picking some cotton right about now in that prison. I'm pretty sure somewhere out there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's probably other Asians out there doing these jobs, making these things, call center jobs because you're in prison. I'm pretty sure they're out there. pretty sure so what i want to say to us is let's start playing chess and stop playing checkers let's think about this let's say you know what everything happens in small moves you get what i'm saying so this right here is a small move think about this now people are fighting for reparations right okay marianne williamson proposed a 500 billion dollar plan all right, so five hundred billion dollars is a slap in the face, but you could come and say, you know what, five hundred billion dollars given to us. Okay, you know what? That's not reparations. What we can do is we take that for our businesses. Hold on, I'm gonna. You understand what I'm saying? That's how we do that. That's how we spend that to help us out. Because guess what, five hundred billion dollars could do a lot in the black community. A lot. Think about this. We spend $1.4 trillion in this country. If we would pull our money together, we could do a lot of things. And guess what? If we had an extra $500 billion, we could do a whole lot more too. Because it's going to take money to change everything. It's going to take money and funds. Nothing is free. So guess what? If some lady walks out and says to me, hey, I could have planned to give you guys $500 billion. I think we should take that $500 billion and say, look, this is not exactly what we wanted, but guess what? We're going to take this and we're going to find a way to use this and further our agenda. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? If reparations comes, we're paying, our, we will be paying ourselves back too. Because guess what? We pay taxes. We pay everything. 
You know what I mean? Because rep- that, that check wouldn't would not just come out, out of the white community. It would come out of everybody's pockets and go directly to us. It would basically basically be us investing in ourselves. And you know what, too? This is how you spend the prison thing to fix that. Because think about this, right? For all those people who are in there for non-violent offenses for, say, 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, whatever, guess what? They have to eat food. They got to get medical care. They got to get baths, uh, clothes, all these different things. Guess who's paying for that? Our tax dollars. That's who's paying for that. So even if you say to somebody, okay, you know what? We want to build this uh, national train system. And where's the money come from? One thing is saying, hey, you know what? If you start to build it and you let these people out of prison and instead of paying them to eat food, you're paying for their food, you could pay for this program since when they have a job and then they could pay taxes too and put into this program and it, it will fund itself. And guess what? This would be an investment because think about this. Think about this. Raising taxes is not the only way to get money from people. It's not the only way. Creating jobs is another way. Because let's say, for example, that, okay, you let them all out and that's millions of people. It's going to take millions of people to do to build these hospitals, to build the train system, to build all these different things, right? Guess what? Those are millions of jobs that those people could take. And be paid to do. And since you're paying them, right? They can go out and buy their own food. They'll pay taxes. They can go get their own medical insurance. Actually, you know what? We can have a universal sort. Everyone's covered. Everyone pays that tax. Because think about this. If, say for example, the the national tax rate is say 7% nationally. Okay? For everything. Guess what? If... The universal health care plan and the train system, all these programs that we could do, only would require a 3% tax rate among everybody. Guess what? That means everybody gets to pay less in taxes for that program. Everybody. You understand what I'm saying? So instead of, and, I, and think about it is, those people sitting in prison is just like an investment that you're not going to see return from. Think about this, right? You would not invest into something that you knew was not going to pay you back your money tenfold. You were not going to make a profit off of that. You would not invest it. You would invest something that you knew that was going to make a difference and you're going to see some change and it's going to help you out. Right? I'm pretty sure you would. Think about this. Some of us live in communities that the streets are potholes, have potholes, have... um, Many different issues. Poison water. All these different things. Okay. And some of us have. Family members. Whether they be daughters. Children. Mothers. Who are in prison. For nonviolent offenses. Guess what. Our tax dollars is being used. To feed these people. Our tax dollars could be used. To clean the water up. To make sure that the environment is okay. Guess what? We could actually use our tax dollars to create more jobs for people. By letting these people out. Wiping their record clean. Now when I set them out, I mean it's a case by case basis. I'm not saying let everybody out. If you're a murderer, stay in jail. If you're a pedophile, stay in jail. As you know, you're a murderer, you should be you should be incinerated. You shouldn't even be in the jail. If you're a pedophile, you should be the same thing. You should Pedophilia should be done, gone. You should be killed. You should be executed. No questions about that. Murder, same thing. Same thing. Now, what I'm saying is this. It's when we come together and change things, it should be better for everybody else because um, we are not the... Actually, let me say it this way. Last time I checked, the name of this country is the United States, right? That means we're one group, one country, one group of people. We're all American, right? If you are born anywhere from the northern tip of Canada to the southern tip of South America, you are an American. 
right? Okay, so guess what? We can do things for all Americans. On all three continents. We can actually do things for just the ones that are just here in the United States. And do things to help people out. Because I'll tell you this. If one community is doing good, every other community should be able to do well. Because the one community is doing great. I will tell you this. There are millions of people out there who need a job. And they can't get one because guess what? All the jobs are in the freaking prison system. They're either in China or they're in prison. Which one? We can't control China, right? But we can control the prison system. And we can say, look, the slavery stuff got to stop. These corporations got to have to build a warehouse and hire people to work in those warehouses. Okay, guess what? The warehouse could be built probably somewhere near the hospitals and, and the train line system, too. That would make it easier for people to get to work. Hmm. You see what I'm saying now? So, black people, this is what I'm saying to you. You can use your agenda and find the common problems for everybody in the country and play chess with everyone else to get what you want. Because guess what? You can get what you want indirectly. Because like I said to you, if you get this program, for example, a national train system that creates jobs for millions of people, millions of people somewhere in there and say, you know what, we want a program there. Our people, our people in general, could work on this program and get paid and stop being wasted in there. Because guess what? We need people. We need millions of people. And we can give them a second chance in life. Everybody. White, black, blue, Spanish, whatever. Because guess what? If we start getting these programs, guess what? We can say, listen, we're letting them all out. The prison population goes down like this. It shrinks. So that means the amount of slaves in this country shrinks. Okay? And guess what now? They can do construction, which is a skill. They learn construction. They can learn um, to be an architect or architect. They can learn mathematics, whatever, different, different skills from these programs. They can learn nursing. They can learn different, different things. All the things that we need in the black community, they can learn these things because of these programs. And that could further our goal. You know what I'm saying, black, black people? This is what I'm saying. We need to start playing chess, not checkers. The game is, there's multiple plays in the game. We got to see, you know what? We're going to play this game right here. We're going to make this move because guess what? We're going to help them out and push up something. But guess what? We want something out of it. We're going to mandate that this is something in it for us also. So if there's some legal changes coming in this country, hmm, how does this help us out? What what could we use this move to get out, to get out of? What could we get out of it too? Because if we can't get nothing out of it, don't move it. Don't move a piece. Stay where you at. Say so you know what? That's your fight. That's not ours. Not our fight. But guess what? We want certain things. How could this movement help us get to where we gotta go? How could these laws change? How could if we take this action as a country? How could this take? How could this help us? Get to where we want to go. Hmm. That's how we got to think about things in this country. Black people. That's how we got to do different things. And we need to play chess. Not checkers. You get what I'm saying? It's all a game. Sometimes you need to make a smart... You need to make an educated move and a calculating move. And guess what? If... There's no, there's no none for you to move. You say, you know what? Do like Uno. You can't put your car down. You pass. You can't go. You can't go. In most games, when you can't make a move, you look around the table and you see there's no good move for you. You say, I pass. I'll wait till the next time. So we must be calculating in our moves like everybody else is. All right, black people. I know I haven't been on here in a while. This is my message to you guys. And leave a comment. Subscribe to the subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think. I, I love to read your comments. And you, you guys have a good one, okay?